after having seen this video, your work as a designer with Siemens and X will never be the same, especially concerning huge parts that have a large number of features. I'm talking about not just 500, let's talk about 5,000 features. Can those parts be performant? Let me know in the comments below what is your experience because I have made the experience that yes, they can. There are a lot of opportunities within this software that allow us to even handle parts that include thousands of features. Within here, we've got four features, but I'm gonna lift a secret. It's not the number of features, it's how those are related. And in the end, it's the number of objects that influence our performance. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to a new episode of my tutorial series, NXCAT Secrets. I have once published this video in German language. The reactions were pretty good. I even received some reactions from the original Siemens support. Just a few information about the background, why I'm producing this kind of pattern. I have received a support message. I was a supporter for many years and one of my clients contacted one of my colleagues, first of all, they didn't solve the problem. The pattern they wanted to create was so huge and had to be calculated overnight. And even an adjustment of a detail within a sketch, however, took its time, meaning also overnight. And every detail they wanted to add to the construction was even impossible to do. So they wanted us to solve the problem and nobody found a solution. So I was just trying as everybody else did. I was trying the pattern feature, pattern geometry, the pattern face, and none of them was successful in the end. So I had to do a benchmark, meaning I started with a small amount of instances like here, two in that case, and it's three, meaning nine instances. And I have, of course, as everybody else can imagine, I have recognized that the amount of time increases. But very important, it increases not linear, it increases exponentially. And it's not just depending on the number of instances. From far, this looks like a hole, meaning one face, one cylindrical face and two edges. But from near, we have a lot more details here. And if I select those, you can see it's 120 objects, meaning 120 multiplied with nine instances. And I have recognized that it's not just the number of instances, it is the number of objects that influences the calculation time. Just imagine what happens if I increase the number to 10, meaning 100 instances multiplied with 120. I didn't want the system to calculate overnight and it still takes at times, as, as you can see. So I can talk, I can talk about my business as an online trainer, for example. Our company is delivering Siemens NX update trainings and basic trainings via several online platforms in multiple languages all over the globe within the last three years, we have trained over 16,000 people how to use the new functions and all spiced up with some NXCAD secrets. Not like this one, it's more the simple kind of versions. We don't have such patterns all day, but we have to handle a large number of objects. And the problem now would be that each detail that I add to this body costs its time because every instance, every object, if I select them all, you will see it's hundreds of thousands. Oh, okay, it's 12,000 objects here. And the number of objects influences your calculation time and the calculation time increases exponentially. So how can I solve the problem? My customer wanted hundreds of instances, not just 10. And it was the same kind of geometry, the same sketch. So I found a solution, of course. I have to decrease the number of objects, but how is it possible? I mean, of course, I could delete the edge plan and add it afterwards, and guess what? It's the same problem. 
adding afterwards takes the same amount of time in the end. So I found a solution which I think is uh, pretty simple and this is something I was using for, for many, many years. It's uh, the join curve which I had to add. But now I have a problem because the pattern is related to the extrude and its sketch is internal. And if I right click, because I have to get it external and replace it by something else, you cannot make it external. How can I solve this? I don't want to delete the pattern feature. So what I did in order to keep this, this is another kind of dirty trick which I'm going to show you, is I don't want to delete this, but I want my sketch to be external. So I'm going to modify it, deselect everything but the coordinate system, for example, and I'm going to apply it with the center mouse button. By the way, it's a simple pattern. So it's a light version of the pattern that does not take a huge amount of time to being calculated. Now I'm going to decrease the number to two again. So we've got four instances. And if I right click now, the extrude is independent, I can make the sketch external. Just imagine you have such a pattern and you want to modify it, you want to replace a sketch, however, and you have a large amount of number of features following which are related to the pattern, you don't want to delete the pattern. I mean, you could replace it by using replace feature, which is also really complex. But this is one trick, just destroy the pattern once, maybe make it the current feature first, then make the sketch external and then reactivate the pattern afterwards. So now I'm going to make it external. Here is my sketch. And now I'm going to use join curve. Join curve in this latest version of Siemens and X, it's 1980, by the way, or something higher, is not available by default and it's not required because you've got the composite curve, which includes the join curve option as well as the uh, extract command. I'm going to select sketch like this, the entire sketch. So you can see it's single curve declared here, but if I right click, it's feature curves because I have made my selection in the part navigator. It's associative and the curves are joined. So this is by default set to no, and I'm going to be using general. This is very important. Do not use cubic or quintic, use general. What is going to happen? There are some fillets in here, so it's 12 curves. And NX is producing one curve instead of 12. And the mathematics behind, meaning this line will still be a line. I'm just going to select the, here you can see it's line of the sketch and here you can see spline of composite curve. And I'm going to select it, control and I on the keyboard. Here you can see object information. It's a spline and it's a rational spline. And rational is meaning, you can see it by reviewing the poles, that each circle or arc is still a circle geometry. And each line is still a line. That's very important to use general in order to create a rational spline and not a typical non-rational B-spline. So I'm going to use refresh in order to hide the bubbles. And I'm going to move the composite curve below the sketch and replace it now. So I could use replace, right click on the sketch, replace. And I'm going to replace it by the composite curve. There is no further entry required beside the direction of extrude, which can at the moment not be inferred um, because there is no axis displayed as you can see, which I could select. So I'm just going to apply. And you can now see that extrude is still referring to the sketch, which is okay, by the way, it's okay, uh, because of the direction and to the composite curve. That's okay. Now I'm gonna modify my pattern feature. And if you have a look at the extrude, you can see there's just a kind of start of the face here, a start and end, but there are no interruptions, so it's one face. And if I count the number of objects, I mean, we can now do it. It's very simple. It's just uh, a few numbers. It's not 120 as before. 
So I'm going to deselect the coordinate system now and I'm going to select extrude and edge blend. It's not required to select the curves. I'm going to apply with the center mouse button and the pattern will be updated soon. You can see there is a warning and on all the instances the edge blend is missing. I think I just have to modify the pattern type. I'm going to be using variational instead and show result. And now you can see the edge blend is included. This is something you also have to consider maybe in the future. In some cases, I think it's going to work, but not in that case. All right, so let's give it another try. I'm just going to increase test wise to a number of three and now to a number of 10 in order to be able to compare because in the last version without composite curve, I have to find a number of 10. And here you can see it's instance five, six. And just imagine, just remember, I was talking about my, my trainings, etc. And I wouldn't have the time now to talk about those. Anyway, if you still want to increase the calculation time, you did see this was faster, much faster than before. And if you now want to go on increasing, because right now we are using the variational pattern type, variational is producing all these instances here, because you did see simple or single was not possible. I'm just going to delete this. Because I want to further increase the calculation time, I'm now going to do the following. First of all, I'm going to hide those elements. All right. And I'm going to be using the pattern face now which is here. And this one can be related to extrude and edge blend. You can see six faces. So just remember the number before was 120. Now it's six plus three edges, meaning nine elements and not 120. And I am expecting a very small amount in the end of the entire number. So it's linear. This is my first vector. It's count and spin, but I should have disabled the preview before. I'm just going to do this. They're too close at the moment. Count and spin. Count is NO for number and spin distance is 3000 in my case. And I'm going to be using direction two, which is Y. Y, Y, Y. It's also NO for number and 3000. And well, I didn't reduce it to two before, which I should have done maybe, but I'm absolutely sure this is going to work uh, in a very, very small amount of time. And just have a look. This is wonderful, don't you think? I mean, you could try using the sketch now instead of composite curve and you will realize it takes much longer than using composite curve, which reduces the amount of objects. Let's have a look. Control A on the keyboard. It's only 2000 and no more 12,000. And if you test this, if you increase the number of objects like this and measure the time, you will see that the calculation time increases exponentially. And this is not just a pattern problem. It's an overall problem of, I guess, any CAD software that the amount of objects we have, meaning edges, faces, curves, whatever kind of object which is selected now, every object increases the amount of calculation time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have learned something, especially the fact that reduction of number of objects will help you reducing calculation time, which I have recognized in many, many use cases in Siemens and X. And even if I add a further object like an edge blend to this edge, the overall number of objects which are included in this body will be regarded there by it. That's why it's so hard sometimes if you import a large part with a lot of details, it's so hard sometimes to even add one simple edge blend. So those parts shall be optimized, for example, in order to reduce the number of objects or divide it, separate it, however whatever we can do, or you have to do something like this using the join curve for such simple geometries, it's always possible. 
in order to reduce the number of objects. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching till the end. For me, it was a great experience to realize this and to show you. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Maybe you've got some own experiences or maybe you've got a special wow effect now, which you're gonna do some hands on in the next minute. Let me know in the comments below. I would be interested. Thank you for watching until now. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe this channel and like the video if you like it. Don't forget, have a nice day and see you soon. Goodbye.